Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another knuckle roller review for you today. And today we are looking at a few really, really awesome products from a really great company called Unquiet Hands. All right, so we're looking at two different models, the revolver knuckle roller, as well as the hourglass knuckle rollers. All right, so this is what we're doing today. And let's get right into it. So before we get into the actual review, I need to start to, by talking about the packaging because from start to finish, um, I've been nothing but impressed with um, you know Tom's products. So um, yeah, huge shout out to Tom uh, from uh, Unquiet Hands. He approached me and you know sent these for me to check out. So a really really huge thank you to him for that opportunity. So um, packaging. So first, this is the uh, revolver knuckle roller. This is the uh, stainless one. You can see the color, it's denoted by a little black dot there. Comes in a nice tin. You get the little card that tells you, you know, the materials, even uh, when it was made and whatnot. So super cool like that. All the social media on the back, even a little hologram sticker on there, super cool. And you've got some stickers as well as a cleaning cloth. So that's really nice. And it comes in a nice little, you know, foam insert here, right? And you've got your knuckle roller inside. So that is awesome. Really, really nice packaging. And of course, the, um, the titanium came in the same type of tin. As for the hourglass rollers, they came in this nice little padded baggie, again with the um, you know card, right? And each roller was nestled in there really nicely. So of course, you could use this for a you know carrying pouch and whatnot. So that's really nice. And everything, you got a few more. You know, um, this is where the rest of them came in. Came in a nice box. So, you know, overall, just really, really impressive with the packaging. And everything smelled like peppermint. I don't know if that was on purpose or whatnot, but that was a nice touch. So let's get into the rollers. Let's start with the more simpler ones. We'll get into the hourglass rollers first. So, um, yeah. Solid body or predominantly solid body knuckle rollers. They do have these um, tips on the ends that you can remove. They're like, they serve as weights. So um, this one I'm holding right now is the uh, aluminum uh, hourglass roller. So it is pretty light without the uh, insert. And the inserts range from um, aluminum, stainless to copper and brass. Okay, so they are removable. You can swap them around if you have like the full set. And um, yeah, typical kind of uh, hourglass shape as the note, or sorry, the name denotes. There are a few little scratches on this. This has seen a bit of pocket time, so um, there is a little bit of wear on that, but love the shape of it. Um, because it has that, let's just look at one of them for now. Let's look at, I think this is the titanium one. I could be mistaken. The titanium, no, this is stainless. This is the uh, titanium one here. So let's just look at this one first. That um, really, really nice hourglass shape, perfectly you know, conducive for knuckle rolling. And overall, the uh, general shape and machining, very well done. Everything is obviously you know, super um, precisely machined and everything is very, very smooth. So when you have this roller in your fingers, um, there's no you know, hot spots or anything to catch your fingers on. So super comfortable, super comfortable to roll and um, a lot of fun, right? I mean, once you get going, it's hard to stop. But yeah, um, let's give you a quick closer look at that finish. This one's in still pretty good condition. So that is the uh, titanium one. I believe this one's a stainless one, a bit heavier with the copper ends there, okay? And I don't know if you can hear this, but I'll shut up for a second. So I don't know if you can hear that, but you can kind of hear the um, the end caps clicking a little bit. Not a huge deal, um, but it is present, so just something to be aware of. The aluminum one I like um, a lot because it's very light, so it's very nimble and uh, super fun, right? And of course, last but not least, the copper. This one has already started to um, get a patina on it, so the copper one does have a you know raw finish on it and it comes to you very very you know nice and clean but once your hand oils start getting on there it will darken if you ever want to reverse that though you can just take some lemon juice 
and uh, maybe like a paper towel and just polish it and that patina comes right off if you want to keep your copper stuff fresh all right but i like that aging look of the copper super cool um yeah the hourglass knuckle roller a lot of fun to um do knuckle rolling and um really really well made you know from start to finish everything is on point um which one's my favorite hmm I would have to say, just based on the weights, um, of course the copper is the heaviest, I believe the stainless is second, then titanium, and then the um, aluminum. Hmm, I think I like the lighter ones just a little bit more, but uh, that's not to say I don't like the slightly heavier ones, but I'm a little bit some, sometimes more partial to the lighter ones because they you know, uh, fatigue your hands as much. So yeah, really, really nice set this one. You can get them as a full set, of course, or you can order them individually, it's up to you. But um, yeah, the hourglass roller, really, really cool. So that's that one. Let's put these aside and get on to the uh, revolver knuckle rollers. And now moving on to the revolver knuckle roller. We got something of a similar design, still got that hourglass shape. Um, however, the main uh, kind of feature of this revolver knuckle roller is right here. You see these two sections here? They actually have a bearing in them, so you'll probably hear that you can spin this little section around here. Okay, so it's kind of something like you can fidget with, um, you know, when you're, if you're not knuckle rolling. It's not uh, super quiet, so you can still hear it a little bit, but um, still very satisfying. And also what's super cool about having those two um, sections with the bearings in there, you can actually spin the uh, roller on the table. And uh, what I like to do is Something like this, you spin one section, spin the other, and then you... See, that's super fun. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah, um, still has that great shape, so super fun for rolling, as you can see. Um, a bit more um, substantial in terms of, it's not as slim as the, uh, the hourglass one. And I'll just quickly show you the bearing on the inside here. You can actually take this off here and there's the um, kind of retention holding the, the bearing in there and if you have um, unquiet hands a uh, fidget spinner you can actually attach it to here and spin it on top like that if you uh, want to so compatible with the other toys from unquiet hands but um, overall again really really nice machining you can see the um, laser etch logo on there of course this is the titanium this is the black coated uh, stainless steel and um, really fun um, again it does feel a little different um, when I do yeah, this move here. When I go, I like to go like this and then spin it around. Um, because this is moving, sometimes it does slip out of my fingers. But I just do a little bit of you know adjustment in terms of my grip and whatnot, and um, it's not a problem. But again, super cool um, knuckle roller. I did carry this one a bit, and um, I did actually drop it once, and I feel like the bearing got a little louder because of that or maybe it's just because of the, um, the pocket lint going into the bearing but I'm pretty sure it just needs a cleaning and it'll be nice and quiet again but uh, out of all of the knuckle rollers between these ones and the uh, the hourglass ones um, out of all of them I think I like this one the most yeah this one definitely hits all those right criteria that I like in a knuckle roller right materials right proportions and um, yeah, super fun to play with, you know, because you can kind of play with it like a fidget spinner, but um, mainly as a knuckle roller, it's a lot of fun. And everything's really well made and well put together. So if you're not sure which ones to get, you know, whether it be the revolver knuckle roller or the uh, solid body, the hourglass rollers, um, hmm, that's a good question. I'd say if you're more into like just the pure knuckle rolling, I would go for one of the, uh, the hourglass solid body, maybe the titanium or aluminum. I like those ones the most. But if you want something a little bit new, a little bit, well, um, not new, but these have been out for a while, but a little bit different, you could definitely try out the revolver. It's a lot of fun. And um, either way, you know, both of these, uh, both sets of these rollers are really nice. And I think they're a lot of fun. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of overview review. And uh, if you're looking for where to get these, um, Knuckle rollers. I'll put a link down to Unquiet Hands uh, website. You can check out what they have to offer. And again, a huge thank you to Tom for sending these out to me uh, to check out. Apologize for 
taking a while to get to this video, but um, yeah, thank you, sir, for the opportunity. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one.